This time on Kim's Rude Awakenings, the Gabberies, a real hockey family that's skating on thin ice. I can't remember the last time I used a hanger. This family doesn't know how to store its belongings. They just hang your stuff on the piano, okay? And that's made the house an overstuffed mess. Now your kids can't be playing with all those toys, dear. Please. That's why I called you. Kim Woodburn and Mike Shalou have got to get this family playing like a team. I am tearing my hair out at the moment. Britain's Queen of Clean, Kim Woodburn, is traveling the world with lifestyle expert Mike Shalou on a very special assignment. Their mission, to identify, confront, and rehabilitate messy, disorganized Canadian families and bring pride back into their homes. This time, Kim and Mike are coaching the Gabbery family, comprising Mom Kathy, Dad Gary, Gary's daughter Jennifer, and sons Adam and Sheldon. The Gamberies have been living in this house for 12 years. But over time, it's become a smelly, disorganized mess that nobody can stand to be in. I'm feeling overwhelmed by it, and it's gotten the better of me, I guess. Despite the fact that Mom works as a project manager and Dad is a custodial supervisor... Okay, Mike, come on, we're going to be late. Let's go. ...they are heavily involved in their son's hockey team. But when they're done at the rink... That's when the frustrations begin. From Yeah, when we get home from practice, the uh, hockey bag equipment goes on the living room floor and sprawls out. We're at the point where things don't have a home. Just the assorted stuff you need to live life in a house just don't quite belong anywhere. Even Gary's daughter Jennifer, who only lives here part-time, can see that something's got to change. There's so much to do that you can't possibly do it in one day. But to Gary, it just doesn't seem to matter more important to me right now is the family doing the things with the kids because they're still young the gabbery's big issue they devote too much time to having fun and their home is suffering the consequences i've thrown up my hands and thrown in the towel and kind of given up lately i think well if there's one thing kim and mike can do it's whip this family into shape get ready gabbery's you're about to receive a very rude awakening Good morning, Gabri family. It's time to face the music. What the hell? There's a lot going on in your house, but no one's paying attention to detail. What is it? You're a hockey family. But you're not playing like a team. Get up and let's get going, Gabri family. This is your rude awakening. Make way. Look at this house. Does this look a well-kept house to you? Oh, you barged in, I mean. Well, we had you were company. You, I probably would have tidied yeah. up for you. You know what you said there? You said... If I'd have known you were coming, that's a wrong attitude. When somebody knocks my front door, my house is beautiful. That's impossible. My house is gorgeous. Mike, please. Let's go. Get in. Get move, move. Way. What is this in the living room? It's hockey equipment. We come in from hockey practice and we air the hockey equipment out. And Smell it. Oh, it's musty. He uses it four days a week. You're short of hangers, are you? Yeah, whatever. You admit you're lazy, do you? Yes. So how do you entertain people with all this hockey equipment around here? Oh, we, we find places. Yeah. We, yeah, we move it around. Why do we have two china cabinets in this one area? That's not well, really I have two of, sets of antique china. But the china is outside of the china cabinets. We have glasses out here. We have plates well, they there. Just, they were clean and I haven't put them away yet. Kim, there's all these storage spaces here, but I don't think anything's being stored in them no. because everything's out on the, on the open. Yeah, they're full of junk. junk. And in the basement, Kim and Mike can see that things only get worse. Dreadful, dreadful. Doesn't it drive you nuts? That's why I called you. Again, look, the improper use of storage units. Oh, I mean, the kids are playing with their toys. I mean, they're kids. Now your kids can't be playing with all those toys, dear. Please. How do you get like this? Because we pay attention to our lives outside of the house that we don't pay attention to our lives inside the house. That's how it got. We need to have a meeting because I am tearing my hair out at the moment. And I don't want that to happen. No, I do not. Let's go. Let's go. Organized flame and chaos it is. See ya. I'm looking forward to anything they have to offer us. I'm looking forward to being done and having everything organized. 
Chaos is all around. Kim and Mike need to come up with a game plan. Kim, nothing is stored properly in this house. Definitely not. And that hockey equipment? No. It's, it's gross. It starts smelling, it starts mildewing. Don't they realize that? No. I've got to teach them to hang this stuff up. I, I'm telling you now, I really have. Well, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those children downstairs yeah. and I'm going to help them organize those toys. Oh, we'll get them to throw some out or give it to charity. They have to throw some out. Yes. Yeah, yeah. By the way, have you ever played hockey? I, I played for nine years, actually. Nine years? Nine years. They actually called me Pretty Boy Shalou. Mm -hmm. How big were you then? Are you as big as you are now? Much bigger, actually. Ooh. Right now, Kathy's paperwork is piled everywhere. Yeah, I pile things. And you move my piles and then I get mad at them yeah. because I can't find it. Where's my pile? Well, what pile? And when Gary gets home from the rink... Wrong. The hockey equipment gets thrown down anywhere there's space. Dude, just hang your stuff on the piano, okay? Not on the piano. It's wreck the wood. This disrespect of each other's space has got to stop. It's time for The Switch. In the corner there, you've got lots of nice clothes, haven't you? When it's sorted out that you're going to do, that's going to be used for the purpose that Gary built it for. What did you build it for? Well, actually, hockey. Kel. Did you? Yeah. You're not using it for that purpose, are you? It's no big deal. The hockey gear is in the living room. That is a big deal. All right. Kathy, Kim's going to take you, and Gary, you're with me. Uh -huh. Kathy's in charge of the hockey gear, while Gary takes care of the paperwork. But even with Kim and Mike's guidance, this switch may be a lost cause. Don't think it's dangerous for a woman like you to think. Okay, bud, come on, we're gonna be late, let's go. The Gabbery's big issue is that they devote too much time to having fun, and their home is suffering the consequences. I am tearing my hair out at the moment. But Kim and Mike are coming to the rescue. Kathy, Kim's gonna take you, and Gary, you're with me. Now, Kathy will be organizing the hockey gear that Gary usually dumps on the floor. Don't think it's dangerous for a woman like you to think.